In this video, we're going to finish up the two-step inequality worksheet on CUDA software. We're going to start by subtracting one from each side of the inequality. Whatever we do to the right, we do to the left and vice versa. So this is going to be three is less than n over seven. Then we're going to multiply by seven over one to isolate the n, which is the same as multiplying by a whole number seven. Seven times three is 21. So we have 21 is less than n. You could also rewrite this as n is greater than 21, remembering to keep the inequality sign oriented the correct way. Now let's go ahead and graph this. Locate the 21. We're going to circle the 21, but we're not going to fill it in since n is only greater than 21. n is not greater than or equal to, it's only greater than. So we're going to shade in everything to the right. Number 18 says negative one is greater than 12 plus x divided by four. We're going to start by multiplying by a four over one, which is the same as multiplying by a positive four. Four times negative one is going to be negative four, and that's greater than 12, plus x since four divided by four is one and 12 plus x over one is just 12 plus x. Our next step will be to subtract 12. So we'll have x on the right hand side and negative four minus 12 is going to be negative 16. So we have negative 16 is greater than x or we can rewrite this as x is less than negative 16. Either way is correct. Just make sure the orientation of your inequality sign does not get mixed up when you switch it around. So x is less than negative 16. We're going to circle the negative 16 and then we're going to shade in everything to the left. For number 19, we have 7n minus 1 is greater than negative 169. We're going to start by adding 1 to each side. That's going to give us 7n on the left which is greater than negative 168. Then we'll divide by seven to get that n is greater than negative 24. And since n is greater than negative 24, when we graph that, we're going to circle the 24 and shade everything to the right. Number 20, we have negative four b minus five is greater than negative 25. Start by adding five to both sides. When we do that, we're left with negative four B on the left-hand side, and that's greater than a negative 20 on the right. Then we're going to divide by negative four. Since we're dividing by a negative, we're going to have to flip this inequality sign. So then we'll get a positive B is less than a positive five. And since we now have our solution, we can graph by circling the five and then shading everything to the left since B is less than five. Number 21, 84 is greater than or equal to negative seven V minus nine. Seven can go into 84 evenly, so as opposed to distributing the seven at the start, I'm just going to divide by a negative seven. When I divide by a negative seven, I have to remember to switch the inequality. 7 goes into 84 12 times. So it's going to be negative 12. Then remembering to flip the sign, I'll have less than or equal to. So negative 12 is less than or equal to V minus 9. Adding a 9 to both sides will leave me with negative 3 is less than or equal to V. And you could also rewrite this as V is greater than or equal to negative 3. Either is correct. When we graph that, we'll go ahead and circle the negative three, and we're going to fill that in, since v can be equal to negative three, but v is everything greater than or equal to, so we're shading to the right. On to number 22. Negative eight plus r all over two is greater than negative eight. Start by multiplying by two over one, and we'll get the negative eight plus r is greater than a negative 16. Adding eight to both sides will leave us with 
r is greater than negative 8. So r is greater than negative 8. And when we graph that, we'll circle the negative 8, not filling it in, and then we're going to shade everything to the right. For number 23, we're going to start by adding an 8 to both sides. When we do that, the x over negative 6 will be left on the left hand side, and on the right hand side, we'll have a negative 4. Then we'll multiply by a negative 6 over 1, which is the same as multiplying by a negative 6. That will leave us with x on the left hand side, and since we multiply by a negative, we're going to have to switch to inequality. So x is going to be now greater than or equal to a positive 24. Circle the 24, fill that circle in since x can be equal to 24, and then we're going to shade everything to the right. On to number 24. m minus 3 over 2 is less than or equal to 5. Multiply by 2 over 1. That'll leave us with m minus 3 is less than or equal to 10, since 5 times 2 is 10. Add a 3 to both sides to get that m is less than or equal to the number 13. Circle and fill in the 13 and then shade everything to the left since m is less than or equal to 13. And that wraps up this video and the two-step inequality worksheet. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. And as always, go ahead, like this video, and subscribe to my channel.